<laughs> you got to repeat that. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Oh, that's not a very enthusiastic kind of good morning. Very good, Chevelle. That is very nice, Chevelle. Good morning. We are back on our morning broadcasts, uh, breakfast for uh, breakfast uh, gospel commentary. Today is Monday. It's almost the end of the month. It's October the 30th already. It's October 30th. So the gospel for today comes from St. Luke chapter 13, verses 10 to 17. Okay. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath. And a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, there are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath. Where is it? Where did I stop? Sorry. Not on the Sabbath. <laughs> okay. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites, does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or ass? from the manger and lead it out for watering. This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years now, ought she not to have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? When he said this, all his adversaries were humiliated and the whole crowd rejoiced at the splendid deeds done by him. Okay. Our Lord has already said in another uh, account of the gospel, right? The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Okay? So the Jews had so many rules, right? right? So many, 613 laws, right? So many. And so, in the, in, in, because there's so many things for them to keep in mind, they might have already lost the whole spirit the whole reason why there was a Sabbath. Okay? And the Sabbath is a day of rest, right? But they have already uh, 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 misinterpreted it to mean that on the Sabbath day, you cannot do anything, nothing. They practically, I don't know what they do, maybe stay put in one place, don't even ever move, right? But that is not the, that's not the spirit of the Sabbath. The Sabbath is supposed to be the day of rest, day of rest, from the usual everyday grind and professional work that you do. That was the whole idea. That's the whole idea of the Sabbath up to now. Okay? Uh, our day of rest, which is now for us Catholics, is a Sunday. But at the same time, it's not just resting by doing nothing. Right? We rest from the normal, from the normal uh, uh, weekly day-to-day -day activities that we perform. But at the same time, that rest should actually promote uh, promote uh, worship. It should actually promote the whole idea that on the Sabbath, we could spend our day um, worshiping God better. Better, and hopefully because we are not, we are not uh, saddled by other things that uh, normally would worry us or concern us, professionally or, or otherwise, then we will be able to concentrate and put more effort in uh, worshiping God, honoring God on the Sabbath day, on Sunday. Okay? And at the same time, it should be a, a special day for us to do some good, perhaps some extra good that, uh, again, uh, we may not be that mindful of and concerned about during our regular weekdays, right? So being in that situation, putting ourselves in a situation of the Sabbath with, with the mentality that today is a special day for God, hopefully helps us also to uh, do more good towards our neighbor. Okay? And that's what our Lord is trying to do in this particular Sabbath day. Okay? 
That's why he said, well, would you not do this for your animals? <laughs> you know, you, you would untie your animals and lead them to water at least. Right? So why can you not do good to your neighbor? See? If you can do this to your animals, then all the more can you do this kind of good to your neighbor. Especially if it has to do with uh, freeing that neighbor from the bondage of sin. And, and enlightening that neighbor and giving that neighbor a reason to uh, worship God the way that she was supposed to. She's a daughter of Abraham. The daughter of Abraham, meaning she's a daughter of faith. She was supposed to be a daughter of faith, but perhaps through her own sinfulness, she has, uh, she has uh, become under the spell. She has put, you know, been under the spell of Satan, under the spell of sin for 18 years 18 years and our lord on the sabbath day wanted to release her from this bondage wanted to forgive her from all her sins so that she could uh, see god again so that she could be more she could be erect and instead of stooping down on the uh, on the earth and being too concerned uh, with the things of this world she can again look up to god to heaven that's a figurative uh, a figurative way of of uh, of putting how sin how sin makes us so stooped and so so focused only on the earth and only on the material things of this earth only on on things of the flesh and pleasure and things like that see uh, that's what sin does see it 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 makes us so so bent and so uh, fixated on this material earth and this material universe that we are unable to look up and, and, and see God. Okay? We are unable to stand erect and see God. Okay? That's a figure of what sin does to our souls. So our Lord here on the Sabbath wanted to free this woman. Wanted to free this woman so that she could again see God and stand erect and be able to worship and glorify God from this Sabbath day. Okay? So here, our lesson, uh, the lesson for us today should be that, that we, should have, we should abhor sin at all costs. Okay? We, should try to, we should try to abhor sin and express our abhorrence uh, uh, from sin, um, not only when we go to confession, but every day of our lives. In fact, many, day, many times during the day. Okay? Good Catholic practice here, folks, is... To, to recite the act of contrition many times during the day. Many times during the day. Not only, when we, not only when we go to confession. Not only when we do the examination of conscience at night, which we do every day. right? But many times all throughout the day, we can recite the act of contrition. And here is where, here is, uh, I'll, I'll give you one reason why I, uh, why I recite the act of contrition many times during the day is, when I when I when I catch myself not doing something right, see? when I catch myself maybe committing a sin, see? immediately I say the act of contrition. Even if I just even if I just uh, even if it were a small thing that I did not do right, see? whether it was a willful uh, uh, or, or uh, mindless uh, act. Okay? It's a good, it's a very good habit to say the act of contrition. Because that way, we are expressing our sincere abhorrence of sin. That we hate sin. Okay? And we, we hate sin not just because we are afraid of going to hell. Okay? Right? As we say it in the act of contrition. Um, I'm hardly sorry for having offended thee. And I detest, I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're afraid we might not go to heaven. See, but, but that's not even the most important reason why we hate sin. Okay? But most of all, because I have offended thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love, that is the reason why I hate sin. Okay? And really, if you love God, if we love God, we will hate to offend God. In the same manner that if you love your parents, if you love somebody, anybody, you would hate to offend that person. You would not want to cause that person the slightest, the slightest uh, 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 um, 
uh, anxiety or the slightest uh, reason to uh, for your relationship to be uh, stained or strained right and it's out of love out of love out of love not out of fear not because we're afraid we might lose heaven but because we love God right? because we love God so it's a very good Catholic practice folks and I would recommend that you know we are approaching the month of November during this whole month of November we are reminded of death okay? we are reminded of death we are reminded about the reality that one of these days the leaf that will fall from the branch of a tree could be you could be me anytime any day this month of November is gonna be the season of autumn the season of fall we're going to see many leaves from branches falling off the branches of a tree. One day, that's going to be you. How prepared are you for that eventuality? This month of November coming up is a very, very good time for us to consider the last things. Judgment, hell, heaven, and purgatory. It's good to replay these realities in our minds, especially these days of November coming up. But, and together with that, the good practice of saying the act of contrition many times during the day. Many times during the day. It's a very short prayer. Very easy to memorize. Very easy to memorize. And if I were you, make it a habit to say that act of contrition many times during the day as an expression of your abhorrence of sin and your expression of love for God more and more every day. Okay, that's it for us. I know that uh, we're preparing for Halloween, but, well, maybe tomorrow? No. Let's remember that Halloween comes from Hallow's Eve. Eve. The Eve of the hollows, the saints, eh? the eve of the saints day. It's not, uh, that, that is the, that's the Christian, uh, that's the Catholic way of understanding uh, that, uh, the, the meaning of Halloween. Eh? So let's, uh, let's inject there and let's put back and restore the Catholic meaning of that celebration. It is to celebrate the saints. It's not just to scare people around. <laughs> that's the, <laughs> that's, uh, that's, a, that's the pagan way of uh, celebrating Halloween. Okay, folks. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Have a good start of your week. And I hope everybody is well and, uh, you know, keeping away from uh, uh, um, colds and sickness. Chabelle is all wrapped up already. It's getting a little colder here. But have a good day, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs>